morning. I want to apologize first off for ending yesterday's episode a little abruptly. And I want to let you guys in on, on what's going on in my head right now. Um, I'm approaching like the, well, I'm at basically the easternmost point I'm going to go. Um, originally, I had wanted to go to Newfoundland. The ferries are a mess. It's a 10-hour drive that my gas tank in certain sections won't even make it to get to St. John's in Newfoundland. So I just am not prepared for that, and I'm I'm feeling really homesick. I'm not I'm not feeling best effort, best uh, spirits right now. So I'm gonna start chugging back to Ontario. Um, some of the stuff that happened that really like kind of pushed me over the edge is uh, well, I had a hike yesterday for nothing. That was uh, and a completely my own stupidity that that got me there, which which sucked. Um, and then like um, somewhere in that kerfuffle, my uh, I kept a jar. I'll never do this again. But I kept a half full thing of oil because my my bolt for my uh, oil drain plug on my motorcycle is leaking just slightly, and so I've been topping up the oil as I go. Of course, it, of course, it exploded in my bag. So now everything is, um, smells like oil. And it's like a smell that, that really, like, it's not, like, really strong, but if you really, if you get it in your face, it's like, God, it smells like crap. It's disgusting. Um, and then, you know, I, I dropped my phone for the 15th time. Um, I, I love Samsung Galaxies. I hate the Edge. I think it's the worst phone ever designed. Um, it, it's as slippery as like a bar of soap or a freaking stick of butter. I, I can't hold on to it. And when I put it, I ought to put it in a case most of the time. But every once in a while I have to take it out of the case. And invariably, every time I do, I drop it. And I smash more of the screen. So now the screen is overreacting and it's draining the battery almost instantly. Um, I try to, even when I have it plugged in, my charger on the motorcycle is gone on the fritz. So like if it disconnects for half a second, it powers down the phone and my GPS is gone. Um, and then, you know, I can't power it back on because it, it dies instantly. So I'm going to pick up a paper map, I guess, and, and figure out my way back. Um, although I pretty much know it off by heart. Um, I'm taking a lot of the same roads that just hit the Trans Canada, right? And you'll be good. Um, and on top of that, you know, it's just like I'm sick and tired of, of, of sleeping in a new bed every night. I'm sick of like trying to make plans to like find places to stay and, and that all messing up and um, I'm just so used to last minute or like no plan at all with the van you don't need one and with a motorcycle trip you really do and I'm just I'm, there's a steep learning curve again with everything and planning has been my my downfall again nothing new there and I'm sure like as soon as I've been posting these videos everyone's like oh come stay at my place come stay I was there two weeks ago Okay. I'm not, I'm like falling behind on the editing, which doesn't help my spirits either. So I just want to get home. I just want to chug away at it. I want to, um, I want to see my dog again. I miss Champ a lot. Um, kind of miss my family a little bit too, you know. Um, but I miss the van big time. It's home, you know, and, uh, my, my scenery out the front door might change every day, but... At least I have my same bed, you know, my, my movies, my TV, my bed, my, my, my coffee, God, coffee, oh my God, different coffee every morning, <clears throat> most of it terrible. I'm not, I'm not a coffee snob, but like, yeah, it gets under your skin. So I'm going to clock up some kilometers today. I'm going to try and make it all the way to Fredericton if I can. I got to text this person. I, my phone's probably going to die. I don't even know if I'm going to get to them. I'm, they're, they're being very patient with me though, so. Hopefully, whatever happens, uh, I'll I'll sort it out, and <sighs> I just want to be home. start now.
What am I doing to this thing? Thank you so much for this. Hey, you got, uh, oh, you, you, uh, crossed them. You're going down now, right? Yeah. You're pretty much at the top, so maybe it'll be a bit faster. I try not to be in a rush, but then I get stuff like this. I probably do. Oh yeah, that's cool. How do you, uh... Thank you. Perfect, thank you so much. Where are you from? Uh, Ottawa. Ottawa? You drive the bike right in Ottawa? Yeah. Both. Air cool 250. You know, usually she's pretty fucking good on gas. <laughs> uh, the mountain, though, it's yeah, I had it on reserve before, but I said oh, it's okay. a primer because I figured it might might be worth a shot. Yeah, she did. But usually the clutch. Uh, yeah, it's a I find that yeah, just don't twist the throttle when it's on clutch. Skip Blake. <laughs> well, Kate Bretner is a founder. Uh, credit to Canadians everywhere. to the shop and it just starts. <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. We're, we got the choke on pretty heavy here. We gotta lay it off. Right on, man. Okay. Let's try it, just kicking it with the choke. Yeah, later on. You say the cowies are finicky. Once they warm up, they're good. 
takes a while to warm them up. Oh, nice reach, man. I'll see you around. I'll just set the idle high. I cannot believe my luck. I think I literally just ran out of gas. And I was going, this thing doesn't have a gas meter. I was going by the kilometers, but because it's so mountainous, at 135 kilometers, it ran out. And it usually gets like 175 before it dry, the fuel starts, so. And then I had just tried it too many times with the battery that died. And by the time I put the fuel in, it wasn't enough juice to get it started. Put it on on, so if it does it again, you can switch it on reserve. Okay, yeah. issues. Fuel tank is running kind of good. I'm going to check it all over tomorrow. I think I'm actually going to do another oil change on it because I'm getting paranoid about it. Every time I feel a clutch slip, I'm like, uh, probably needs an oil change. Probably actually needs a clutch or a clutch adjustment, but we'll get to that. Um, I am staying with this lovely lady. This is Emily. She's a friend of Kat's. Uh, if you remember Kat, Kat was uh, the lovely person who set me up in near Fredericton. Now I'm actually in Fredericton proper, where it all happens. But most importantly, she's got a cool dog. Hi, You're so girl. cool, Chico. You're so cool. This is exactly the therapy I needed. You know, I was feeling kind of down this morning when I woke up and mostly because I was missing Champ. I have Chico and he's 12 years old and he's black and he loves when I scratch under his chin and on his butt and right behind the ears. Yeah, it's so great. It's so great. It's so great. Okay. Anyway, we're just gonna hang out for a bit and then I'm probably gonna fall asleep standing up because I'm exhausted. Good night.